because of the position you play, um, people compare you to Devin Bush Jr. How do you handle those expectations? Uh, you know, I handle them well. I mean, I'll say this, like, last year, playing with a guy like D. Bush, that dude, one of the best players I've ever been around. So learning from him, you know, him kind of passing the torch into this year for me, it's been a big deal, so I'm ready to go. But what gives you confidence that you're ready to go to step up for him? Just, I mean, the day-to-day, -day, working every day, getting comfortable with my teammates and becoming a better leader myself just for the guys that, you know, on a defense playing. So it's a big deal with all that, so it's been good. A lot of people expect to step back given the personnel you lost. Why do you think you guys can maintain that standard? Oh, because one of the one of the biggest things is we just been playing with like we've been around each other for three four years i mean all of us guys know each other we know how we play and it's it's just no just not gonna be no drop off we got great guys we got quitty pay lavert hill d gill um myself just guys on the defense where we're gonna we're gonna come get it no matter what so you know what i mean your name's been brought up by quite a few people as a as a leader what's your what's your leadership skills like what do you what's your your method yeah my my method um one of my main, main methods is just being positive all the time. You know, every time we take the field, no matter if it's you know we we have a great possession, great great possession or a bad possession, always staying positive and being even killed. Does your approach change now that you're in Mike and instead of playing mostly Will? Um, I wouldn't say change. Just I would say it's just a little bit different. You know, the Will's kind of more. Uh, it, it, you don't have to be as vocal as you do when you play Mike. So I just being more vocal. Um, you know, I kind of, I played two, like I played Mike and Will, so I kind of knew what Mike was about before. So it didn't really change for me, no. Does Mike require a, a greater understanding of the system or? Um, a little bit. I mean, just more communication. You know, you're out there making the calls, uh, getting everybody lined up. And, you know, if something goes wrong, it's kind of on you, you know, because you're out there kind of directing everything. Mm -hmm. Obviously, people are familiar with your predecessor, but now that you're at Mike, what do you? How would you describe your game to, to people that haven't seen you play there yet? Yeah, I'm, I would say I'm a guy that's never gonna stop, never gonna stop. I'm always gonna push. I'm, I'm I got a high, I'm a high motor guy. I'm a big hitter, and I'm always gonna get to the ball no matter what. That kind of like Khalik Hudson, would you kind of classify him the same way? Khalik, that dude, Khalik is special. I mean, he's just you, you rarely see athletes like Khalik, a guy that's you know as strong as he is, as fast as he is, as quick as he is. I mean, it's kind of crazy to see. So. Kalik is just one of those special athletes that you get every once in a while. How the running backs look that, but about specifically Charbonnet. Yeah. Oh, I was just about to bring him up. He's been looking really good. Uh, he's definitely uh, been been excelling, playing really well, fast, uh, learning his plays really good, and he's been he's been impacting that offense a little bit. And the other guys, Christian and. Uh, yeah, CT and uh, and True. They've been all the backs been looking really really good, uh, playing really really well, and uh, I'm ready. To, to see what they do on, uh, in the game day. So. You love to tackle them? Uh, <laughs> Practice? Yeah. I mean, sometimes we got live periods, sometimes yeah. we don't. But I mean, if it's live, they're, they're going down no matter what. That's how it goes. So. Is he hard to tackle, Charbonnet? Uh, Charbonnet, yeah, he's pretty hard to tackle. He's just a bigger, more, you know, stoutier type back. Um, I mean, still a freshman, still learning, still mm -hmm. growing, but he's going to be a heck of a player. What are your thoughts on the other corner position from LeVert and how that's played out? Yeah, so you saying you talking about just Laverta? You talking other, about the other side? Other side. So Vince, Vince and Ambry. So uh, Vince has been playing really well. I mean, just just to see his progression uh, from last year to this year, it's been magnificent. I mean, learning everything, on everything, batting balls down all the time. And then now we just got Ambry back in the fold, uh, probably like a, like a week ago, and he's been getting back in things and he hopped in real well. And he, everybody knows how good a player Ambry is. He's just getting back in his groove. How's he look? I mean, does he look. He looks, yeah, 90%. yeah. He looks really good. He looks really good. He's moving around really well, and it was so unfortunate that that had to happen to him with uh, his stomach and everything. It had to be out for so long, but he's back, full go, and he's ready to go. Jordan was just here saying the defense will be scary, but said the offense will be scary as yeah. well. Match oh, you guys. Yeah. How how does it look, and how has it evolved from the spring? First yeah, off? I mean, our offense is just one of those high-paced offenses that's gonna go get it. I mean. You got so many weapons on the field. Every receiver is ridiculous. Our whole old line is ridiculous. Like quarterback is great. So this offense will definitely take a lot of steps forward from last year. How they tested you? <laughs> they test us a lot every day. I mean, we playing against you know guys that's up tempo, guys that's threatening us deep. You know all these type of things, and it, it tests us every single day, and it makes us better as well as us making them better. How much does that up tempo and the speed and space and you know, all that kind of stuff? How much does that help prepare you for some of those games where? 
you go up against some of those speedier athletes? It help, it help prepares us a lot. I mean, when you when you got an offense uh, that that's that up tempo, it just kind of innately picks up that win. You have that win when you you know you kind of know how it operates when you're going against a team that's kind of no huddle and all that type of stuff. So it helps a lot. Which freshmen have stood out to you? Uh, any freshman? Yeah. Uh, I would say DJ Turner and Dax. They they probably stood out the most. Uh, specifically DJ. He's he's been really playing well. Um, just coming in like it's so tough because and I was in the same position. Just coming in, having to go through the bridge program, coming in the summer, and you got to do school with, in the first two weeks of camp, going to class, and uh, to see those guys, especially Dax and DJ, kind of hit find that light so early and playing so well. It's crazy to see because that's hard to do. So that, you know, when you are one of those guys that, like, has to go to class the first two weeks of camp, how do you balance that? Yeah, so, like, it's, like, like I said, it's, uh, so you got freshman year, you, you either early enroll or you coming in the summer. In the summer, uh, some of the, the freshmen that go through a uh, bridge program, and it's tough. Like, you just coming into college, you kind of getting, act, like, activated into college, and then you got to do school on top of being in your first camp ever. So it's, uh, it's, it's a tough deal. That's why. The guys that, that come out and perform early, like it's like, wow, they, they're going to be special. Do you think it helped you that, that you had done summer bridge like once you were, you know, full-time playing season while you were obviously a student as well? Yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, I, I, I would say it helped maybe. I don't know. It was tough. It was tough. It was my freshman year, so it was hard to go through. But, you know, we made it through, and new wave of guys come in every year and do the same thing and, and grow from it, so. Josh, defensively, schematically, I know Don changes some things up every year. Has he changed more up this offseason maybe compared to previous years? Yeah, I mean, he changed a little bit up, but we still going to stay true to our identity. And that's aggressive defense and going to hit you every play, going to be on everything, going to be batting balls down, contesting every ball. So we never lose our identity, but we change a few things up, but always going to be the same defense. Did you guys ever talk about those last two games last year at Ohio State with the bowl game? Um, we, yeah, we talk, we talk about them all the time, Still? especially, yeah. I mean, you're never going to forget those games until we go back and get them games. And this season is kind of built, like, for those games and, and kind of getting our revenge for those types of games. I mean, it was a tough situation that we went through losing the last two games. We win those games, we potentially could be in the playoffs. So, tough deal. But, I mean, you grow from it, you learn from it, and you, you, you don't look back. You only go forward, and that's what we've been doing. So, how do you build that how do you build toward avenging those yeah i mean you always have those games in the back of your head you always have uh ohio state like game, well, just really ohio state for real you're gonna always have that game on your head like we doing this every single day to beat them like that at the end of the day that's what we're doing this for we doing this to beat them and that's like one thing we've been like kind of speaking a lot of this camp and going to the season just kind of bring similar, that up huh? kind of in that similar vein you know a lot of their fan reaction has been the idea that, you know, you would have been able to stop them if you switched to a zone. What, you know, you've been, you said you want to keep that same aggressive. Yeah. Why, why do you keep that same aggressive? First off, like, we don't listen to no outside noise. Like, fans and people on the outside don't know what's going on on the inside at all. They don't know what's, what we go through every single day. So, like, thinking about them is irrelevant. It's about us. And, of course, like, we could have made some changes in the game. Uh, we could have did better things ourselves, like as players in the game. But at the end of the day, you can't look back. You got to go forward. And we lost that game, but we've been work we've working every single day to get that back. How fast has Dax gotten integrated into things? Yeah, he's gotten integrated real fast. Uh, like I was saying, like how tough it is coming in in the summer, uh, going to school and all that. But one biggest thing is with him, and that's it's obvious how great an athlete he is. That dude is so fast. And his makeup speed to everything is ridiculous. So, like, he's going to be a really good player. Someone with his kind of speed, obviously in a different position than Devin, but I mean, is he able to kind of do some of those things just in terms of. What you mean? Just in terms of getting from side to side and, and filling up or yeah. making up for, for mistakes or things like that that yeah. Devin was able to do. I mean, yeah, like, you saying, like, speed, like, making yeah. up for your mistakes? Yeah. yeah. And when you athlete, it makes up for a lot of, like, when you fast, it makes up for a lot of things. Uh, but, like I said, Dax. Going to be a great player. He's came out real strong, and that dude, that athleticism is ridiculous. So, did, did Devin leave you with a parting message before he left? Um, you said what? Can you say that one more time? Yeah. Did, did Devin Bush leave you with a parting message before he left? Just about taking over at Mike, anything like that? He passing the torch. Like it's my time now. It's my time to go get it. It's my time to to lead the defense and kind of like you know, it's my time to take the torch. That's kind of what he passed to me. Anything else for Josh? When did you feel? Ready to accept that torch. Oh yeah, for sure. When? I mean, when did you feel that way? 
I mean, the day the season ended last year, the yeah, day, yeah, I mean, it's, it's time. It's time to go get it. It's time to transition into the new year, and it's, it's time to be a bigger leader than I have been before. So I'm definitely ready. You enjoy watching him in the preseason? Oh, yeah. I actually was, uh, <laughs> last night I was watching his film. I was on the, on the uh, iPad. I was watching some of the Steelers film. He was balling, so that dude was going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you.